Do you want to impress your friends? You want to make them go holy moly? Well then let me introduce to you Dino, Dino the, the Dancing, dancing dinosaur. dinosaur. Dino the Dancing Dinosaur. He dances. He prances. He even sings. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, you want to be a dinosaur. You know they have tiny arms, right? I mean, just imagine trying to shake somebody's hand. Imagine trying to eat a beautiful slice of cake. You couldn't even hug your own mum. <laughs> Dino, I'm sorry, come back. <laughs> well, today, I'm going to show you how to be this dinosaur. Just a few easy steps. Guys, get your wizard hats on and let's flippin' do this. So guys, this is the finished result. As you can see, he's a bit too big for the screen, but you get the idea. He's got tiny little arms here, a big old dinosaur body, a tail, and a beard. Because, you know, dinosaurs have beards too. So as always, we need to start this tutorial off by clicking reset avatar and becoming our beautiful self. Hey mom, now once you're back in the avatar editor, guys, it's time to transform yourself into a flipping dinosaur. So, what we need to do is remove everything we're wearing by clicking over and tuning and then removing it from here. And as you can see, I am a fresh canvas. Now you're going to want to click where it says wearing and come over to animations and select werewolf. It's probably the best one for this tutorial, but do this now before we do anything else. The next step is to click animations and come over to the body where you will want to come to heads first of all and select headless. If you can't see that guys just search headless and then you want to click this empty box right here. Now once you've done that guys you're going to want to come over to the right arm and you're going to want to search 2.0 and as you can see right there you want this lego looking arm with the weird curvy bit. It's called the Roboxian 2.0 arm. It's the only one there and then again here make sure you put a dot between the two and the zero otherwise it won't come up and now you're going to want to come over to the torsos guys and you're going to want to search core blocks scale and it will be this one right here the core blocks skeleton body and once you've got those two equipped then you want to come over to the right legs guys and you're going to want to search bro and as you can see there's only one option do that for both legs and you have the body done now the next step is to click where it says colors and you're going to want to select a green color for the minute it doesn't matter too much because we've got nothing to work off but just click the green color for now and you are done. Now you want to come over to the scaling selection, click man, click advanced, and now you're going to want to make the head scale full size, bring the height down, open up the width, upper body and lower body, and make the upper body torso as small as possible. So just bring it all in like this. And then for the lower body, you're going to want to make the lower body wide. And guys, pause the screen if you need to. These are the settings you're going to want to follow. Then minimize this and open up the height. Now guys, for the height, we're going to do a similar thing. Open up the lower body, make the feet height all the way up. Make the legs a bit longer, especially the upper legs and the lower legs a bit shorter. Just like that. And then the upper body, we're going to leave for a minute until we have put our dinosaur body on. Guys, come over where it says body up here and come over to the wearing panel where we're going to want to equip a few things now. So the first thing we need to equip is our body. So we're going to come over to the hat selection guys here and just search radio and it should come up with a radioactive egg which is this one here. Once you've equipped that guys, you're going to want to equip another egg and this egg is called the lumen egg since eggs just search lumen and it'll be this one right here so now you've got these two green eggs equipped we're going to tune these in to get them in position so come over to the tuning selection guys minimize this one for a minute just to get it out the way and then we're going to open this up and start playing about with it so first of all we're going to want to make this full size this egg has to be full size otherwise we'll have a tiny body no dinosaur has a tiny body now guys you're going to want to adjust this to make it so that it's leaning forward so you need to bring it down just like this properly all the way sort of about there so it's sort of tilted again copy what i've done there if you need to and then bring it right the way down and as you can see we have now got a dinosaur body I also recommend bringing it back a little bit like this so it brings the arms more forward and also it covers up your butt. Okay, now once we have done this egg, it's time to equip the Lumen Exit Egg and turn it into our neck. But we can't do that yet because we haven't equipped a head. So guys, come where it says hats up here and search wizard. And now you can either scroll down and look for this or you can search wizard saurus and it will be the only one here. Pause the screen if you need to see how to spell it, but it's wizard and tyrannosaurus mix together. Now just click this and now we need to adjust this head. So come over to the tuning panel at the top right, guys. Now you're gonna wanna make this a bit smaller and go to the position and then bring it up, bring it forward. And now we need to open the rotation, bring it down 
and then make it a bit bigger. And guys, just pause the video if you need to, but it looks like that. Okay, so now what we gotta do is give ourselves a neck, because as you can see right now, the wizard Soros head is just floating. So guys, this is actually inside of our body right now. As you can see, it's sticking up there. We're going to want to change the position and rotation and bring it forward. So guys, bring it forward first of all like that, and then you're going to want to tilt it down. Guys, make the scale a bit bigger, and then just bring it up a little bit, and that should just about do for a neck. Now then guys, there is another thing we need to add now, which is obviously a tail coming out of his butt, because otherwise he isn't a dinosaur unless he has a tail. So come over to the uh, waist selection, and up here you're going to want to search card. And if you search card, it's this one right here, the cardboard tail. Although there is some other options, you could use this one, or maybe there's this one. I don't know, whatever you want, you could even use this one. You guys, once you have equipped this, come over to the tuning selection again, open up the rotation, bring it down like that, make it full size, and then go to position and bring it up. And guys, just copy those settings and everything should be good. Now for the legs, guys, obviously dinosaurs don't wear pants, so come to the pants selection, click custom pants, and you're going to want to input a code. And this code's a bit crazy because it gives you no pants. So guys, do not use this code normally. And then click wear. And as you can see, I have no pants on now. And guys, we're finished. But there is a few other settings you could do. Some people like to add wings to the dinosaur. So if you wanted to add wings, then I recommend using something like this. And guys, if you're going to do it, then make them really small. Because otherwise, he's going to look like a dragon. If they're small, then he won't look like a dragon. And then you could just throw them at something like that. Wait a minute. The detective's after me. I gotta get out of here. And there we have it. A beautiful looking Dino the Dancing Dinosaur. So guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you did make it to the end of this video, then please do hit the subscribe button to join the team. Hey look, somebody made the genie. That's so cool. And guys, there's loads of other videos just like you saw with that genie that you can go and watch right now. As you can see on the screen right now, there's a video on how to be a dragon and another one on how to be an alien. And if you don't want to be any of them, then like I said, there's loads of videos on my channel for you guys to go and check out. Now you can go and troll your friends and do loads of other crazy stuff. But if I don't see you in one of those videos, then hopefully I see you in the next one. <gasps> Goodbye.